It's the Villa K.A. Marsa back at you again with another update. We just give you more and more proof why the Minnesota Vikings and, and uh, Indianapolis Colts were supposed to be at Super Bowl 51. Obviously, they were told not to because it was way too much money being betted on them. But see, now the story is in front of your face. The story right now that's involving Minnesota is did they throw the game and did they not throw the game? Because Mike Zimmerman claims that the DBs went against his plan. Listen to what he has to say. Then listen to his two DBs, which was Xavier Rose and then I think the other guy is Terrence something. But let's take a listen. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay. On the wrong side. But that was not that was not the whole first half. We corrected after after the first first series. It was just a little miscommunication first series, you know. Um, we gotta handle it handle it after the first series, you know, that was, that was about it. It was a miscommunication. Um I believe they punted on the first drive. So after that, we got it corrected and there was no issues. There was something about uh, us doing our own thing, us uh, making our own calls and whatnot. None of that ever happened. Like this thing, this whole thing is blown way out of proportion. Did you hear him? This whole thing has been blown way out of proportion. Why? Ha why? If they weren't supposed to go, why why the heck would they do what they had to do? You see, the leagues know dang well we're on to them. We expose their behinds every day. This is why I tell people, if you watch sports, do not watch it like it's real. You better watch that crap like it's wrestling because you can get hurt. You can seriously get hurt. And that's sadly, it's been a lot of people that's been hurt. And it's big time financially because it was a lot of people who was banking on this to happen. But see, the league, This is. let me tell you how they think they got over. They think they got over just by switching it up on everybody. But obviously, we still know we are, we are responsible for them switching it up because they was going to lose tons and tons of money because everybody in Mama knew that this was supposed to happen. If it wasn't supposed to happen, why the heck would this story be blown out of proportion on whether the DBs threw the game or not? You see, this goes back to... Uh, uh, some of the comments that I was reading, you know, why some of you guys still believe that the game is real. It's not real, bro. It's this. Listen, cats, everybody, it doesn't take the whole team to rig a game. You can get two players, three players. They know what they're doing. And see, I'm pretty sure that these cats was watching RFG's videos. They was watching Cut Cash videos. They was watching Bobby B's videos, watching Worry for Truth video. Probably seen my junk. Um, you know, but I'm not really that big like everybody else that I'm talking about. They was watching Zach's videos and a host of other cats who was making tons and tons of videos about this stuff every day. Every day making videos on this situation. Every day. And see, that's like I said, do not from here on out because this circus clowns are going to be watching us carefully. They're going to be watching exactly what we do. If you know ahead of time. You know, just don't, like I said, we, what, we, what we'll do is we'll just wait till once it gets about postseason and start putting our stuff out. Because these circus clowns, man, they, they literally think they're getting over. They ain't getting over. We, we well aware about what the heck is going on. But anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Just to give you more and more proof why this trash is rigged. Why this stuff was, why they switched it up. Because this story is being blown out of proportion. And who they ain't where who was supposed to be going. We all knew. The circus clown said, no, sir, we can't go. We can't lose this money. Shoot. It's very sad. It's, it's very sad how this this nonsense goes down. But listen, like I say, I don't control this stuff. You know, if I did, I just had a player's plan. I would never tell them. I And I would make sure I have my referees in check. I'll tell them, if you see a bogus play, make sure you throw a flag. But if it ain't bogus, don't be throwing no unnecessary flags for absolutely no reason. And then when it is a bogus play, throw it. Don't just sit there. If it's a bogus play, don't throw the flag. This is what I say because this stuff is so dang corrupt because these referees, they work for the dog on powers that be and crap. You know, it, it's it's sad, man. It's, it's really it's messed up how, you know, how things work. But listen, you think it's something now. Watch. We get ready to get just a random, random as possible Super Bowl. 
that had the teams is going probably much pretty much won't have a connection to Houston. But hey, remember when you watch the fixes in anything can happen. When you watch the sports crap, anything can happen. But anyway, that's all. That's all I wanted to say, people. I wanted to just leave that with y'all, man. And uh, also, too, I want to take the time to thank everybody who has subscribed. I, I believe I just hit about 707 view uh, subscribers. I appreciate that. Thank you for tuning in to the content. I'm going to try to bring y'all more and more content each and every uh as this new year comes, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna be try to be cons uh, consistent on what days I'm gonna drop content. That way, you guys will actually know when I'm gonna come up and drop a new video, you know, here and there. Because I got a lot of stuff going on coming up, and you know, I don't have all day to be on the internet. I got other other adventures I want to do. You know, this new year, I want to I want to better my life, man. Because sitting around doing stuff, being online all day, you that listen that that's that's another distraction. Wasting your life being online all day. Listen, we got better stuff we could be doing. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I just want to drop that. And also, uh, the powers that be once again took somebody else out. They took out uh old girl from the Star Wars movie. I think her name was Carrie Fisher or something like that. You see, the, 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 it's all about sacrifices, man. They, and as a matter of fact, the, the topic they called it was rogue something. For this situation that's involved in the, uh, the, the Vikings. Now that movie Rogue One just came out. And now this girl who was a part of the Star Wars series just dies out of nowhere. You, you, it, it's messed up people. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. If, if I don't drop a new video this uh, this year, I'm wishing you guys a, a, a happy new year. Uh, you know, do whatever y'all got to do to make your lives great. Be better. You know, going into this new year. Hey, if you got to stop cussing, do it. Whatever you had to do to better yourself, man. Listen, cause we live, we in some, we living in some wicked times, people. We are living in some demonic, satanic times, and this is the time now to return to the Most High. I know some of y'all probably don't believe in him, but this is the opportunity to cry out to him, y'all. But anyway, hey, y'all be blessed. Holla at your boy.